Um, this is a tutorial on how to upgrade Rocket Chat um, on on a, um, a Linux server with with uh, Docker's. Okay, so really simple the tutorial. Uh, this is my really my first time doing it, so I figured this is good to document it, and uh, maybe it'll help someone uh, else out there. So as you can see, we um, uh, it's already upgraded. It was. Um, uh, 3.6.0 and uh, we just upgraded to 3.6.1. So first of all, um, we have our environment in, uh, in DigitalOcean. And one of the first things I always do before I do anything is always uh, take a snapshot. So it's like backing it up, took a snapshot of it. So ran the snapshot, made sure it's saved there. Then the next step would be um, I, I take the uh, I, I log into Putty, and Putty is just this uh, command prompt. So we logged in, and then once we logged in, um, here are the list of commands. And actually, you know what? Before I jump into that, whoops, uh, let me show you the instruction set right from right from um, rocket chat so this is pretty much the instruction sets uh, that I follow but there's a few things to note that's not in the documentation so okay so let's start from the top um, so I logged in and then from from here you know I just I just did a docker PS just to verify the docker the dockers were running uh, the docs or containers are running. Then uh, following this instruction set here, the first line, Docker pull. So it basically downloads the latest file. Then, um, um, well, one of the things, so this is one thing that, that uh, they didn't make clear here is that in order to, before you can stop it, you actually can have to go to the directory. So I went to my directory uh, it was actually right here, Docker Compose. Uh, Docker Compose. So it's the directory where you have that uh, that .yml file, and then from there, I um, removed it. So this rm remove Rocket Chat, and then I compose uh, Docker Compose up -d. So which updates it. Now then, uh, after that, don't freak out if you get like this gateway error it takes a little bit of time for everything to boot back up but kind of get it up and running so give it a few minutes give it you know a good five ten minutes and then refresh and you should be good to go so that's all hope this helps